A few days ago I got some silly mistake in my Tecla model. Long story short dash I got duplicated objects copied over each other a couple of times. I didn't find what I did wrong, I had created a few quick components and assumed that probably there was some problem. So there was an option to try to delete duplicated details one by one, but the amount was too large and it would take quite a lot of time and I'm too lazy for such repetitive tasks. Another option was to delete all details, try to recreate components, and hope for the best. It would be quicker than doing one by one deletion but also unnecessary long time if compared with possibilities that Rhino's Grasshopper offers us. In this tutorial, I will show you how to remove duplicated elements from Tecla structures using the Grasshopper plugin. Let's start by creating a fake model. In this example, I will create small tubes from the beam element and copy them 50 times on Y axis and 20 times on X axis. Element size and profile do not matter, the only thing it must be made as a beam, not a plate. You can do it also with a plate, just need a few small adjustments. So now we have a nice grid to work with. Next, select a few hundred random beams and copy with the same step so they are on each other. I did it on both axes so it's more complicated to find where duplicates are. To make sure you have this problem open clash check and run it to see there are a lot of details with clashes. Now let's create a solution for this on Grasshopper. To follow along you need to have Rhino software and installed Grasshopper Tecla Live. Open Rhino and navigate to Grasshopper plugin. Let's start by getting model object in our new empty canvas. It's located in the Tecla 2019 I tab. If you have a different Tecla version name must include your version. Quick class check to find some duplicates. Right click on model object and choose set multiple model objects. Now you can select all elements from Tecla or as I do, when creating grasshopper logic, I use a small amount of Tecla's objects so it works faster. And when everything is finished and works then I use it for all elements. Of course, your test set must include at least one duplicated element to make sure it really works. After selecting beams in Tecla you need to push the middle mouse button to accept them. Now we have stored some Tecla beams in the model object, next add deconstruct beam and feed model object to it. Add endpoints to canvas and feed curve from deconstruct beam. This block now has information about our Tecla beam start and end coordinates. Add create set block to canvas and feed start from the endpoints block. To see what's happening add to empty panel block and in one feed start from endpoints and another feed set from create set. Now you can see that endpoints hold all coordinates and duplicated coordinated can be found in the list. Create set block removes all duplicates and you are left only with unique coordinate values. Now we can group elements by unique coordinates. Add evaluate block to canvas. Add panel block and insert value A equals B and feed it to evaluate blocks expression. For value first variable feed on the create set block set, but here's one important thing. We need to right click on set and choose graft, feed line will change from solid to dashed. It will create a separate block for each unique value. For the second variable, in my case B, feed start from the endpoints block. 
In my example, there are three unique values and nine beams, so we know six values are duplicates. In our new list from Evaluate, we now have three lists and on each list, we have true or false values. To understand better we need to compare this new list to the previous list from endpoints and create set. Here we can see that Evaluate creates a result panel with three separate lists. Each list corresponds to info from the previously created create set panel. Now we have some patterns and we will use them to create lists with Tecla beams. All beams with identical coordinates will fall in one list. To do that let's add the call pattern block to canvas and feed from evaluate block result to call pattern and from the very first block model object to list. As result, we now have a list of duplicated Tecla beams in separated lists. From Tecla, we need to remove only duplicates and leave one piece not deleted, so there is one last thing we need to do. Remove the first beam of the list. Add the call index block and feed list from call pattern to list. Add panel block. Insert value 0 and feed it to call index blocks indices. Now you have a final list with only duplicates. As you can see in my example, the third list is empty because it has no duplicates. To interact with Tecla structures and select duplicates add a new block model object in the end and feed list from the color index block. Now when you click on model object, objects in Tecla are going to highlight and you can delete them. Now when you see everything is working, you can clear values from the very first model object block and add all beams from Tecla. It's gonna take some time to calculate but as result, you will have a list of all duplicated beams. To see that values in the end are less than in beginning, we can use list length block to see total counts. So there are 558 duplicated beams. Click on the model object block and in Tecla, all duplicates will be highlighted, so press delete and you will have no duplicates. To be sure everything went right, do another clash check. As you can see all duplicates are deleted. Thanks for watching.